Hello again, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I am Alex Gorbunov from Three Dots and CG School. I'm going to be a presenter today. And today I'm going to tell you and I'm going to show you how to do the palm plants for your interior or exterior project because because reality is that either in the past or maybe in the future, some of you already faced the problem of making this object or will definitely face it. So normally these objects from the first look, it looks very complex or, you know, somewhat complex. And normally it's, it's a little bit, you know, scarce people because it's got many elements. But in reality, it's not that complicated. So I'm going to show you some cool technique how to make palm plants real quick for your interior or exterior projects with use of cloth and hair and fur modifier and of course you know some some modeling involved so let's go ahead and switch to 3d studio max and reset it to start with nice and clean interface then go to front view and create plane object something really narrow and long like you see I'm creating on my screen set number of length segments to one and number of width segments to three. Make it a little bit longer, something like this. It doesn't matter what size it has right now at this point. It can be 500, it can be 1,000. Uh, what important is the relation of the length to width because it needs to be something long and, and really uh, narrow because we're going to turn it into the stem. Now convert this object into editable poly and apply band modifier. In the top view, apply, just play with the parameters of the bend modifier to bend it like this, like, like you can see I'm bending on my screen. So once you bend it, collapse it again into editable poly and select these top vertices of the object. And still being in a, in a vertex of object mode, scale the selection of these vertices down along y axis something like this to straighten the, them out a little bit so you you could have applied band modifier to the selection of bottom vertices and then to selection of top vertices and use different parameters but it would be easier if you just scale it down along y axis okay now let's remove all the smoothing groups so we can read this object a little bit better for that i'm selecting all polygons and click we can clear all on the modify panel. Okay, now let's apply shell modifier to give it some thickness. Okay, again, collapse it into editable poly. Now, what we need to do is, again, go to the top view, go to vertex of object mode, and let me see. Select these two vertices right here. Move them a little bit along Y axis. And select these two and move them like this. Okay, that's just going to help us a little bit with the next step because for the next step we're going to apply taper modifier. So it chooses from the modifiers list and just pick the right parameters so that you taper this object like this. The goal here is to make it a little bit narrower at the top and a little bit wider at the bottom because you know all the stems they, that hold the leaves for the palm tree, they they usually look like that. They start the starts as, as a wide you know stem and then they go narrower toward the toward the ends okay so so just adjust the parameters until you you like the result something like this should be good now convert it into editable poly and Go to edge subobject mode, select all the vertical edges of this object. Just use the window selection, just like you see I did. And use the connect tool, click the settings button next to connect button on the modify panel. 
and I'm going to bring up Connect Edges dialog. On that dialog, tell it that you want to create three, four, or five segments, and click OK. So that created new edges, horizontal edges to this object. You can see it's going to create them in, uh, you know, to, to create five additional segments. So now this object is ready to be smoothed out with Turbo Smooth modifier. So just apply Turbo Smooth modifier. You're going to smooth this object out and see what problems we have right now. Is it finished or not? No, I think it's smoothing out the bottom and the top of the object too much. So we're going to fix that real quick. Go back to editable poly object. Go to edge sub object mode. Select this, these vertical edges at the top segment and click connect button. Reset number of segments to one and use the slide parameter to slide these new edges very close to the top. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better something like this. Click OK. Now scroll down to the bottom and do the same to the bottom selection of the this bottom section of the uh, of the object. So select all the vertical edges, click connect button uh, to bring up the connect edges dialog and and do the same. Adjust the slide parameter so that you create new edges close to the bottom end of the object like this. Click OK. Now you can see if we reapply Turbo Smooth, then object is going to look nice. So that's pretty much what we want. You can just do some fine adjustments, maybe see that the end, the, the very tip of this uh, stem, it's a little bit thick for the palm tree or palm plant. So go to vertex of object mode and you can just scale these vertices down a little bit. So, so the stem is ready. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. So let me continue from pre-saved file. So you see the same thing that you just saw 15 seconds ago. So we got the stem uh, ready, and now for the next step, we need to create a, a leaf. That leaf, you know, should look like a palm leaf, and we're gonna we're gonna copy this leaf on the both sides of the stem to basically create uh, one individual frond of the palm plant because that front later on we will distribute over some surface using hair and fur modifier to create some additional fronts or I can call them branches and then we're going to apply some distortions to it. So let's go ahead and continue this creation of the uh, of the leaf. Go to plane, uh, go to create panel and create plane object. So create something like you see I created on my screen. Again, something relatively long and narrow, and it should have relative size to the stem object that we already created, like you know, like you see I'm making on my screen, something like this. Okay, now with this, set number of length segments to two. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Set number of width segments to 14. So you have the object like this. So we were adding these, these segments so that this leaf can be bent and distorted because it would, if it was little, you know, lower poly, we would see some large polygons. So this level of detail would be just fine. So, okay, now we need to have some texture to see how it would be applied to this plane object because because right now you see it's it's rectangular but the palm leaf is not rectangular so of course we need to have some some opacity map and diffuse and this this webinar is not about creating textures so I'm just going to show you the textures already created you can see I've got the diffuse map I've got the opacity map and bump map you know, and all other maps that are related to the to the materials of this object. So, so basically, at this stage, we need to use only opacity map because, and I'm going to apply it to the to the any channel of the material. So, pick any empty material slot in the material editor. Uh, I'm going to use diffuse channel. So, apply this bitmap to the diffuse channel of the material. So you can see how the texture is applied to this leaf. And 